What's up everyone? I'm finally gonna do a Minecraft Let's Play. You're welcome. First off, I just realized I gotta turn the brightness down. <clears throat> if you haven't noticed, this is how my um this is how my let's plays usually go. I'll start and then immediately realize I did something wrong. Um yeah, fifty percent is what it's supposed to be at. So let's see how that looks. Come on. Come on. Alright, good. Um so I spent a lot of time in this world, and we'll get to that friendship sign in a second, we'll even get to the other stuff. I just want to reveal something very special that really I had so much fun doing and I really want to show off. So I created this. Uh, if you don't know, that's obviously Agumon. Um, I'll probably just take a screenshot of that, or even better, let's get a little closer. Shit, I don't remember how to do this, I don't remember the controls, it's been too long. This one now. Oh, hold on. Uh, you probably just saw it, but that's fine. So, <clears throat> that is my pride and joy. I also want to show off, I tried making something much, much bigger. But, I can't build that high. Uh, I put it in a stupid place, I build it above the ground, just like the Agumon one, and you'll look. I cannot place any blocks. Let me put them on the side, but that's about it. So, <clears throat> I don't, like, I'm ashamed of it, but I'm still, like, it's so much work, I can't take it down. But I love it. I had so much fun doing these. Just look at the scale. Um, and those are my favorite parts of the world. Alright, so, let's go a little further. This is my sheep die. Whatever you want to call it, farm. It's creative mode, as you can clearly tell, so I don't need the different dies and everything. I can make whatever I want, whenever I want. I just think it's funny, and I like having a pen of them. Um, plus, you can make them have babies but that uh kind of freaks them out so it used to be ne right next to a village but uh me and my friends kind of got into it and le I, I don't want to go into the specifics but yeah this village is no longer in operation uh yeah so <laughs> I captured one of the natives uh this is my pet snowman I don't want to name him Frosty because that's not very original but uh here's Frosty uh he's pretty good I like him. He gets sass though, so I have to keep him locked up. Alright, so finally we get to this. Uh, as most of my subscribers probably know by now, I'm a huge Rooster Teeth fan, and they do Minecraft Let's Plays every week, and as the time of recording, they're on 39, so 40 will be this Friday. At 52, that'll make a year, and I have a proposal for their year Let's Play, or, coming, or celebrating a year of their Let's Plays, and in a second, I'm gonna break out into like I'm just gonna keep doing my video, but I'm gonna cut a section from that video and submit it to Achievement Hunter. So when I get all pitchy and really like you know up there and hyper, don't be surprised. It's gonna happen. Um, I think that's about it. Oh, we also have this. Um, do I have a mine car? Not on me. But uh, let's just do this. This is my friend John made this one, and um, it's really. <laughs> It's ridiculous because I just let him loose for like half an hour and he built this entire thing. So let's do. Mm, I need a minecart. If you've never played mine, uh, Minecraft and you have an Xbox, go get Minecraft. It's like fifteen dollars. It's worth every penny, or twenty, something like that. Still worth every penny. Um, all right. So that there. Start moving it. And, oh, there we go. All right. So. <laughs> He built all of this stuff, and then he made a jump, so you go way the fuck down here, and it keeps going, right into the lava, and then it burned, and then I fixed it, like he used to have a block block here, but I fixed it so that when you rode it, you burn straight into the lava. He used to have it so that you would land right here, and then your minecart would go in the lava, but uh, yeah, that was his doing, but I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, because I can move so fast, this last is going to be like 15 minutes, maybe. Uh, okay, <clears throat> yeah, pr still very sad that I couldn't finish building that, but it's built enough where I'm not going to take it down. I kept, the reason this Let's Play was actually put off so much was because I was going to take it down and then rebuild it, but I just, I don't have the energy. That took me a solid, like, two hours. Um, alright, so I'm about to start the, uh, Minecraft Let's Play pitch, so when it gets really bad, like, you'll notice. I'm going to wait until it's exactly five minutes, though, just for editing purposes. So, give me a second. All 
What's up guys, it's Nick from Achievement Hunter and I have a proposed Let's Play map for the Achievement Hunter guys uh, for their Minecraft stuff and I'm actually going to take it a step further I want them to do this for their yearly celebration Minecraft Part 50, Let's Play Part 52 is coming up and in honor of that I made a little challenge to dedicate that you know, to dedicate to all their Let's Plays they've already done in Minecraft not all of them, but most uh, so to start off, there's the Tower of Pimps and Let's see, you want to go up here and jump down the hole. When a strange man tells you to jump down holes, you jump down holes. And there you go. That's the best part of friendship is the end. So over here, we have tons of torches. This is the safe room. Um, so no monsters are going to spawn in here. Uh, we have an enchanting book and table full to the, you know, bookcases. It'll be fine. And I've provided each person with their own bed and their own color. And the object of this Let's Play is to get from here and back up to the top, on top of the Tower of Pimps. And ironically enough, it takes exactly 100 blocks. It's almost like someone planned that. But, um, let's get to it. So, we have Jack over here. Um, and let's just, you know, go in a chest. Everybody starts out with 15 sticks, one block of oak wood, five bottles of enchanting, which you throw and then you absorb the enchantments. Um, and then, you know, tons of ingots. Uh, some diamonds, some food, and some yellow wool, because that's his color. Five yellow wool to start off with. And, let's see, there's a little shout out to Joel for his one part he was in the Minecraft Let's Play. Uh, there's tons of Easter eggs like that. Like, all their signs have little messages. Like, Gavin's, don't touch my damn sign. Um, and everyone is in it except Caleb. Because, quite honestly, Caleb, you're probably the one watching this video to approve it, so... And I want to show off everything. It would be very unfair if you were in this video. Um, so there are going to be chests throughout this, uh, throughout the level, and they each contain a block or not a block. Sometimes they'll have more, sometimes they'll have less. But the object is to get a hundred and then put it right at the bottom of the pit, right in the middle, and build back up. There's even enough blocks so that once you get outside, you can build up right next to the tower of pimps and stand atop it, like you gloriously so. So. Each part will say, like, you know, the number of chests and what the challenge is. Like, this is the Rooster Teeth locker room. This has so many references to Rooster Teeth, I can't honestly in good faith go in there. It's going to spoil everything. But I can visit my other chamber, my other, you know, test places. They're all lined like this with an obsidian, you know, arc and then a different color around them. So this one says, hey, remember the end of the wipeout course? And it says chest one. So let's climb up there. Um... Uh, like I said, I've got a lot of references, up to 32, because I couldn't really think, like, if they continue to make more, I'll keep adding to it, but I can't think of any uh, things to add. So, you go through here, and you'll find that every place is blocked off, except over here. And what does that look like? The end of the wipeout course. So, to do this, you got to jump right in here, and it's easy enough to land in the water. And you can't really see it, <laughs> but there is an exit. And I can't really see it. Hmm. You know, just kind of fumble around in the dark. Um, hmm. Let's see if I can do this. Yeah, there you go. If they have torches, they can use them. Um, man, I wish I'd planned this better. Alright. So, I'm going to pause for a second. I'm using this gap in time so that I can edit the stuff out, but I'm going to leave it in for the Minecraft Let's Play. Um, I definitely made a huge mistake here. I didn't realize you couldn't see in here when uh, it was dark. So, let's see. i got to put torches in here. I might just redo that little part. Um, shh, don't tell anyone. Alright, so you just have to make enough where you can see. Um... It's also very hard to get through this water. I did that part on purpose, but I don't know it, how annoying it is now. Oh, wow, yeah. This water goes way deeper than I thought it did. Um, let's do this. I'm actually changing this as we speak right now. Um, originally, I had planned so that it was kind of hard to get through the water, so you'd be struggling about air and stuff, but it seems a little unnecessary. So I'll just take out a good amount of the water. Um... 
just most of it actually so like once you jump down you'll know where to kind of exit um, yeah so this looks right almost okay come on so I don't think I can edit this part like this is just water from the hole so this should be good um, it should, and it'll also keep monsters out too, so that's a good, that's a plus. Alright, I'm going to go back in a second, but I do have to put the gamma back down. <clears throat> See, just letting you know, this, this stuff happens. I completely missed a lot of stuff because when I was building everything, I had built it in, um, let's see, oh, I went too far. I built it in, so I could see everything, so I had the gamma up at 100%. It was a friend of mine's idea. Originally, I was going to put torches everywhere, but I, I kind of want it to be dark. Alright, so I'm going to use creative mode and get through this, because I'm allowed to. I created it. Um, so I'm going to edit that part out. So, okay, wait for it. Give me a second. Alright, so once you're in the water, you can kind of see that it's like... No, I can't, I don't want to go up here. There's fire here. Uh, so then when you go down, if you look around, you can see a little opening. You go in through here, torches, that's usually a good sign. And uh, you come down in here, and what's it, stairs? There's your first chest. Uh, inside here, just, I have random items. At first, it's going to seem like just like, oh, that's quirky, you know, there's kind of random items in here. I don't plan to tell them this, but the real reason those items are there, so that once, they're probably just going to pick up everything. And, you know, there's 15 blocks here, so that's 15 plus the 5 they start with, that's 20. They're already that close. There's also flint and steel, sometimes useful items. But once they start picking up all of these items, they'll get, a, you know, a cluttered inventory. And you get a cluttered inventory, you stand still, an enemy or another player easily can come up and kill you. But that's like something I just don't want to explain. I want someone to figure it out on their own. Um, so, actually, the exit is really easy, but you can't even see it without knowing it's there. Um, so that's the first challenge. Here's another one. It's not really a challenge, but it's kind of hidden. It's like, all their times to go to the nether. Here's my nether portal. You would never see this just walking around. Like They have to really be searching. See this one? And you go in here, and... <sighs> I hate waiting for the nether to spawn. But, um, yeah, so this part is blocked off, so you can only come through here, and it's just a tiny room, and it's inspired by part 7, which is the birth of Mogar. That was the first episode that they built the portals to the nether, and that was the first time Michael was like, Mogar! I put tons of little easter eggs like that in there. So, if you can manage to find this place, there's ten iron ingots, some food, some snowballs, because <laughs> snowballs chance in hell, right? Huh? Huh? Uh, Alright. <clears throat> Sorry. Some torches, and clay and moss stone which add together to 14 blocks um, I don't expect one person to find all of these um, and it is competitive so I, I ho I'm hoping that the players will try and kill each other along the way um, because there's definitely way more than 100 blocks out here uh, so if you go over here I passed it over earlier but here's kung fu you know painting so Ray can come stand here and go Hua! and then probably get hit in the back um, but over here, in this very, very dark part, there's a nice hidden chest right there. Uh, I don't remember what's in here. Uh, but just, you know, some goodies. But I put tons of stuff like that. Uh, I want to look at some of the other challenges. Uh, the Diamond Dark Way which says two chests, and it's inspired by parts 30 and 32. I'm purposely not putting what the goal of those Let's Plays were, just so that people can kind of like, like, oh yeah, I remember that part. Well, it's completely pitch black in here, but you put down a torch and <gasps> I remember what these were now. And if you go around, you can actually see, I put everyone's score, like this was Michael's final tally when he did the wool thing. This was Ray's, Jeff's was right here, uh, right here, I can, you know, and then over here, Gavin's so close, <laughs> free because he was, you know, what, one or two blocks away. And there's Jack's. So the chests in here, this one I think is really well hidden. It's um, it's in the brown block, like on the ceiling. I made a giant one, like just giant, you know, kind of wool block type tower. 
and there's that one hidden right there. But what's even better than this is that this is a false wall. If you go through here, there's a chest here, and inside this chest, one of each kind of wool. So that's 16 blocks right there. But it is seriously going to clutter your inventory. Oh, great, autosave. Alright, uh, so let's go to the next part. I mean, they just auto-saved all my torches, but you know, whatever. I'm not that mad. No, I'm pretty mad. Um, Alright, let's get out of here. Let's just talk. Alright, I'm not going to include this part in the video. Um, let's keep going. <clears throat> Give me a second. I'm going to have to edit so much of this out, but this is part let's play, part pitch, so I'm sorry guys for, to my subscribers, but I hope you guys think this is interesting too. Alright, so in the next challenge, it just says Jack will not beat this challenge, and then it says chests three. Alright, three, that's a pretty high number. I want to try here. Well, right off the bat, you can already see one of the chests, and it's completely surrounded by lava. One of the rules, I didn't mention it yet because you guys aren't playing, you're just watching, uh, is you can place as many blocks as you want as long as you don't block anything, like you can't just plug up a hole like this and be like, oh, well now you can't get through here. And as long as it doesn't, like, you know, hinder another player, but you can use them to reach obstacles. So the only way to get through here would be like, you know, waste a couple blocks. If you wanted to jump, you can get through that, and you can reach it from here. But you know, the final thing is that you just you keep don't you know break any of the courses. Now, if you go through here, I think I'm going to add torches. I didn't realize how dark it was without the gamma. Um, it's very windy, very you know annoying, but. You can just kind of hear a faint sound. It's like, what? What is this? And then, you get in here, inspired by the wipeout course. Some pistons. Yeah. And lava this time. So, I'm in creative mode. I'm going to walk around this. There's the easy look part, which is they all run the same circuit, so you can kind of predict it. And then there's the hard one, and they all go very differently. There's even some holes and some very annoying places, <laughs> and they're all going pretty fast. I honestly don't expect anyone to beat this course, but I thought I'd put it here anyway just to watch them try. Um, in here we have 15 pistons, hey they count as blocks, and uh, some, you know some random junk, some more arrows if you happen to find one of the bows and arrows, one of the bows, uh, some ingots, but over here this is a really really good chest, because in here you have dynamite and TNT. You also have some diamond and 20 blocks if you manage to get there. I also made sure you couldn't just jump from like here to here if you took the easy path. Um, and we'll get more on that in a second, but let's just get out of here first. Oh man, this is going to be the hardest video I've ever edited in my life. But um, yeah, I'm going to try and cut it down. Um, I really want them to play one of my maps just because I thought, you know, I've done pretty well here. Um, so give me a second. Alright, so we exit from this one and over here, it's kind of dark again. Over here, what's over here? Well, this is strange. Just, just you know, a block. I actually meant for it to be like that. How suspicious is that? Just a bunch of concrete, right? Or yeah, concrete, right? Right in the middle of this obsidian hallway. Well. Normally, they're going to have to use one of the TNTs, like the one they found. There are actually three of those in the entire um, map. But use that, light it, should blow this enough, and one chest. And this chest has an enchanted sword. It has an enchanted armor. So pretty much guarantees victory, um, you know, if they can find it. Which I don't, I'm not saying I don't expect them to find it, but they're probably not going to find it. Um, I wanted to make this more like Jeff's hidden thing and his when he was, you know, stashed the tower away in the top of his like cloud fortress or whatever. But I think this works just as well. You know, that definitely stands out right there. And I want to get rid of these torches. Um, keep it nice and hidden. Um, so I'm, I don't want to spoil all of it, but I made tons of different references like that. And uh, there's some stuff I threw in of my own, like 
over here. This is one of the Let's Plays. Uh, this is the last one I'm going to show off because I don't want to spoil too much. But what were parts 13, 14 about again? Just some hints I want to throw towards the players. That was the Find the Tower of Pimps one, and if you remember, this is more or less what it was like when you found it. So you're going to have to definitely place some blocks to get up there. Um, but that's kind of it. I just want to show one last hidden secret. And that's, um, should everyone fail and some blocks get like lost, say, you know, they disappear after five minutes or anything like that, I do have a fail safe. If, but no one, and I mean no one is going to find this. If you go over here, you look inside this lava, there is a chest. And it turns out you can actually open this chest through lava. 50 block, you have 50 clay and 50 moss stone. Which adds up to exactly 100 and you'll be able to get out. I don't know how that would play down, play out, but there you go. Um, so this is my idea. I kept some stuff secret just because I don't want to spoil everything for, in case someone watches the video. But uh, I hope, you know, the Achievement Hunter guys could use my video for maybe the year anniversary or if they already have something planned for that, maybe part 51 or part 53. Um, but that's my pitch. Uh, thank you very much and goodbye. Alright, well you can clearly tell that's not the end of my video. Uh, for my subscribers, I will spoil everything because pff, you guys don't care. Or if you do, you know, here, you saw it first. This is one of my favorite rooms. Um, it's just a giant gold fucking mass that says, no chests in here, seriously don't press it. And then the hint is, if you touch the button, it will explode the room. And over here, it's last chance to walk away. And there's the, bu excuse me, there's the button. Now, these blocks are made out of, um, what's it, silverfish blocks. So if they explode, silverfish go everywhere. So just in case they survive. And over here, well, you know what? I guess I'll save. Um, did I put any... Oh, I just gotta make sure, double check, I didn't put any torches I didn't want them to be. Um, hold on, hold on. Yeah, alright. I think I'm okay. Um... So, let me just save real quick, like. Uh, tell me what you think about all my different Minecraft stuff. I want to show off my PC version, but uh, I had trouble capturing well on the PC. Uh, it really slows stuff down, and it just it doesn't really always work, so I just kind of gave up. There's not that much on it, but it was just a little bit. I'm never going to show it, though, so there you go. Alright, so if you manage to press the button, nothing happens. Or does it? The entire room explodes and then lava falls down from the top. Now, this is what I'm very banking on because if these blocks blow up, then they get loose and then people could, you know, earn blocks. But I'm really hoping that something like this happens where the lava blocks the doorway and then you can't get back in. Um, you know, a couple blew out up top, but that's fine. And if we go through here we can um, you know just everything was blown up and that's great so let's <laughs> let's exit that game exit without saving because that would be a pain in the ass to rebuild um, trying to think all right <clears throat> so what else they put in there I'll show off the other one because um, some of the stuff is pretty cool so I showed all the challenges I think there's one more room I have in there um, and a couple like just chests hidden around, but I'm trying to remember where's the third TNT? I know where. Oh yeah, I know where they are. Okay, so up here is another good one. Uh, this is one of the hidden chests. Like if you go up here, you'll see this one, and just an empty one. But if you happen to go a little higher, you'll see a hidden one over here. And there's ten dirt blocks and some TNT. Nothing to light it, but there's some TNT. Uh, what? A oh, okay, I was gonna have to say. Did I block my um, tunnel back up? I did. Let's do this. All right. Can't see anything. Like that's the point, but you know, wish I could see it. So under here, I have an underground forest, and I am so proud of this because it turns out glowstone counts as a light source. Like normally, stuff doesn't grow underground, but if you put glowstone near it, it'll you know it, you can actually grow things underground, including cactus. Uh, so the chests in here are 
if you exit out this area, like just tons of you know cool stuff, uh, like that you can't that you don't normally just find on the surface. I put a chest right behind this tree because I'm maniacal, and that has some cool stuff. And <clears throat> there's one on top of this tree way over here, and I've hit the blocks just so so that you should be able to jump up and get it. It just you know it's a matter of like looking up there. And if you happen to go to the cactus garden all the way at the end, you'll see another very hidden chest, and this one has some good tons of goodies that I had and some TNT. Uh, but overall, that's it. Uh, let me know what you think, and I've got some editing to do. Bye, guys.